it comes to giving emotional guarantees, being realistic about what that means, when we take a wedding vow, when we offer someone a, heart, a handshake or a promise, that's the best we can do in the moment of giving our word. And you've probably heard me mention that really challenging phrase before, can you bear the accusation of betrayal from another and not betray your own soul? We've got to be really gentle on ourselves and realistic when we ask for a guarantee because people change and grow. Asking somebody to give their word and never change is a big ask. And that's what we do when we take a wedding vow. That's what we do when we give a promise. Now, some of us divorce. And I personally am one of those people. And if you're not, you're blessed. Um, however, very few of us make wedding vows without pledging hand on heart to honour those vows when we take them. However, the bigger vow that I want to talk to you today, because our word vitamin for today is guarantees, and if you get a chance to read it, it just puts a big spotlight on having an emotionally mature look at what that means in relation to our commitment to ourselves and commitment to other people. What I've really come to understand is that the only commitment we can really, on a long term, and the only guaranteed relationship we get for the whole of our lives is the one we're having with ourselves. We're going to be there, guaranteed, with ourselves when we take our last breath. Now, I'm not trying to be morbid, but the quality of your marriage to yourself is one you live with 24-7 throughout all the decades of your life. I've used the wedding ring to thine own self be true with Shakespeare's little engraving on it because for many of us, our marriage to ourself is not one we undertake. And I remember after the separation of my first marriage and on the conclusion of my first book, I bought myself a wedding ring and I made some vows to myself about who I wanted to be moving forward and what I wanted to honour. Now, we've all got deal breakers and deal makers and to honour our vows to ourselves, and I think one of the most important vows we can offer ourselves is to be the very best version of ourselves that we can year in, year out. And to not self-abandon even when we get it wrong and other people do. So a vow we make in our 20s may um, not be still watertight in our 30s and 40s. And that doesn't mean that we've done something wrong or the other person's done something wrong. What it does mean is people grow and change. And the demands and the emotional nourishment that we require from relationships in our 20s and 30s changes. I mean, I'm a woman in my mid-50s now, you know, and what I look for in a relationship from my man and from my girlfriends is very, very different to what I required when I was a younger woman. So the biggest commitment we, we make is our marriage to ourselves, uh, you know, offering a guarantee of commitment to being a better person and that'll mean growing and changing and when we do sometimes need to maintain a quality relationship with ourselves, it, it means we need to let go of a relationship with another that is no longer nourishing because people do change, people die, people leave, I'm not being morbid but this is life and um, the big question when it comes to guarantees is what shape is your marriage with yourself in? Are you in good shape? Are you committed to being the best person you can be? Not self-abandoning. And um, when we come from that place, we are far better equipped to honour others because if we're being true to ourselves, as Shakespeare said, this is 15th century wisdom, to thine own self be true. And if you are true to yourself, you can't be false to another. And I think that's another thing that we can offer loved ones, lovers, friends and family, is that I won't be false to you. I will speak my truth with respect. And um, that is one vow I have been able to uphold, regardless of um, whether other people have liked what I've had to say or not. And that, that's the challenge. When our love wins over our ego. Lots to think about there. If you get a chance to read the word vitamin, I hope it's useful. Mwah! See ya.